Hello, my friends. Welcome to my home studio in the beautiful Catskill Mountains in upstate New York. I'm John Morrell. And what am I doing here today? Well, Fernando had a, a great idea uh, for a video. See, I'm going on vacation soon, and I won't be back until after Valentine's Day. So what I'm going to do is my top five. Ooh, 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 there it is. Five. Uh, uh, five. Top five Valentine's Day scents. So, sort of date scents, I guess, but I'm gonna say, I'm thinking, you know, Valentine's Day evening, right? Maybe a dinner out, if we can do that now. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Top five Valentine's Day scents. All let's right, all right. So the first one is a no-brainer, so let's just get it out of the way. I think everyone's gonna put this in their Valentine's Day scents, and that is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, uh, and the one I like is Eau de Parfum. So, uh, listen, I don't have to talk much about that. It is a tobacco, amber, cedar, cardamom, ginger, it, it, and top notes of grapefruit. It, it's a great scent. It really is. It doesn't, unfortunately, I always say this. It becomes a, a skin scent on me virtually immediately. Zero sillage, zero projection on me. However, on Valentine's Day, that's not a bad thing. A close skin scent is just the ticket, right? Just the thing to get that special someone nice and close. So there you go, the one by Dolce & Gabbana. My second scent is something that my wife just adores. And I think no matter how much time goes by, this scent never gets old. And I'm talking about, I think you know, La Nuit de Lome. I mean, this cardamom, the lavender, uh, the bergamot, I mean, it is it is to die for, and no matter how much time goes by, this is at the, a classic, but at the same time, it, it's just always classy. Classic and classy, and uh, yeah, she loves it, and so that's a great Valentine's Day fragrance, and I think you know. Next Valentine's Day scent, it probably makes a lot of people's list. I don't know, but maybe in different versions and it's gonna be Spice Bomb Extreme. I know some people like the Ridge and that's cool too. You can't go wrong with this. The, the vanilla, the tobacco, the black pepper, uh, the caraway, the lavender mixed in with all that. It is just a stunning scent. And it's in, I will say this, um, it, it's a for me at least it's a projection beast so go easy on that one right go easy because i don't think you need a huge scent bubble on valentine's day especially if you're out to dinner right so but again spice bomb extreme next one may be a surprise i don't know i, I don't know but uh this is one that took me a while to really really enjoy but because it was a surprise to me. For some reason, when I read the reviews, I had a different idea of what this scent was. And I'm talking about Wanted by Night. Wanted by Night, Azaro's Wanted by Night. And here's the thing, when I spray this on, when I got this originally, I sprayed it on and my wife said, oh, what is that? And she said, it smells like something. And I said, watermelon, Jolly Rancher. And she goes, oh, exactly. And then she sprayed it on. <laughs> she really liked that smell. Now, that would not be a good Valentine's Day scent by itself, I don't think. Although, candy, right? However, here's a so, I think this is one, one of, if not the most transformative fragrances that I have. And here's why I think this is a great Valentine's Day scent. Starts off with that watermelon, to me, it's just fruity notes, but to me it's that watermelon Jolly Rancher smell. And this last, and by the way, beast mode as far as longevity but that jolly rancher watermelon jolly rancher smell last i'd say two hours about hour and a half two hours on me and then it starts to dry down and the dry down the dry down is where the magic happens because then it becomes this this vanilla patchouli and it's a smooth sort of scent and so I think both work on Valentine's Day, especially together, right? You have that, right, when you start out the night, when you, when you go out to dinner, you have that kind of, you know, candy smell. And then as the night gets intimate, what happens, right? A couple hours later, all of a sudden, it's that smooth vanilla patchouli. I, I, I dig this, and, it, and it, when I first got it, I wasn't sure because I read all these reviews talking about what, a, what an evening scent it was. And when I sprayed it out, I'm like, what's going on? Did I get a, a different batch? Did I get a different 
Uh, did I get a different juice in this bottle? But I get it now. I get it. it. Took a while, and I think this is absolutely an amazing Valentine's Day scent because it changes so much. It's almost different fragrances from the opening to the dry down. So again, Azaro's Wanted by Night. Great Valentine's Day now, scent. Before I get to the fifth and final Valentine's Day scent, and what I would consider to be my wife's favorite in mind, I, I wanted to give an honorable mention. This one's interesting. I, I put this on the list because my wife loves this scent, and I and, and I found based on female YouTubers, especially, you know, uh, that they think this scent is to die for. My wife really digs it too. I, I'm a little surprised, but she really, really likes it, thinks it's sexy. And so I'm giving it an honorable mention because I would not wear this on Valentine's Day, uh, but my wife would dig it if I did. And apparently other women really love the scent and it's it's a uh, latent exclusive by Parfums de Marley. And, you know, it's a niche scent and it's it, it can be pricey but you can find it discounted on different websites but again that's not something i would i would wear but my wife digs it she thinks it's hot so uh, again so that's just an honorable mention now my fifth and final scent is probably something if you've watched my channel and i hope you have uh you probably have an idea of what I might, because I said it's my wife's favorite, right? And, and if you remember back when I did the video, my all time compliment getter, and here it is. Black Orchid by Tom Ford. This is, again, I do think you have to be a confident fella to wear it, because some men think it leans female. I, I do not at all. As a matter, this is my all time compliment getter. My wife thinks this is the sexiest cologne, not just that I own. She thinks it's the sexiest cologne in the world. So, you know, here's the thing. And this is the Eau de Parfum. Uh, so, so I call that the original because it's the original uh, Black Orchid, I believe. And it's the first one I ever had. And I've had a bottle of it every, ever since it came out, I've had a bottle of it. And she just, I put this on and she's like, let's go to the bedroom. Really? It's, it, she just loves it. And, and so, I thought to myself, I wonder if it's only her because she just loves it. I mean, I do get a lot of compliments, right? I, I mentioned this, I don't wanna go through it all. You know, no matter where I am, I, I get complimented on this fragrance. But then I, I did see a bunch of female YouTubers uh, talking about this fragrance. They love it on men. They love it on men. So I get it, men, some men don't feel comfortable wearing that fragrance, but I have to tell you, to me, this is an amazing, it's my number one. Number one Valentine's Day fragrance because I know where the night's gonna end up if I have that on. So there you go. Uh, I wanna thank you all very much for watching. If you did, thank you, Fernando, for coming up with this idea. Uh, I would have totally forgotten about it because I, I was gonna be on vacation during Valentine's Day. So thank you very much. And I, I was gonna make this a tag video, but I did tag some people on another video recently, so I, I'm not going to. If people wanna do it, do it, because I think this is a great subject, Valentine's Day sense, I do. Uh, so if you wanna do it, do it, that'd be awesome, but but I get it, I, I'm not gonna tag anybody. And I wanna thank, for those of you who subscribe to my channel, I, I, let me just say I'm so humbled by it because I really, I'm not kidding when I said I was doing this for fun. I never thought for a second I'd have more than 10 subscribers if I got to 10 subscribers. I am like two subscribers away from 100, I, which is just wild to me. So I wanna thank you very much. And you guys are just amazing. And thank you for all your interaction, all the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, but you're watching, do me a favor, subscribe. Give me 200, why not? Surprise me. <laughs> but I wanna thank you very much and... We out.